Welcome to another segment of Lucia and Being Behind the Scene. This is Talking to Lucia on the Couch. Welcome, lovelies. Another lovely Sunday in our beautiful country. And it's hot, it's beautiful, we can't complain, right? I was talking to uh, some friends the other day how grateful we should be about uh, where we live and how things are here. I mean, for sure, things could always be better, but if you look at the, at the world, my goodness, we are very fortunate people. Okay, lovelies, I just wanna talk a little bit about your response to the engagement video. It was unbelievable, phenomenal. I am so, oh my goodness, I am so grateful and, and baffled really by your lovely, lovely emails. I got flowers, I got cards. Clan too is like, this is amazing. And so heartfelt and really, really beautiful. So a few of you said, uh, Lucia, the second time is a charm. So from your experience, which is great. And a few of you said, Lucia, maybe when in time you can explain where you met Clan. So obviously you lovelies are newbies because about two months ago, Tessa and I did a couch talk and we both met our guys pretty well the same time. I was a month ahead of Tessa and we explained how we met our guys because we met them on the dating sites and it's a really good video that had such a great response so if you like to see it just go on the playlist of lucia lucia and bean couch talk with lucia and you will find it about two months ago and it's i think we did it in two parts so please do that and then you will be all informed on how I met this lovely clan. I'm going to touch up on a few things today. As you can see, Charlie's not here and I'm in transition. I moved in with clan in this house. And when I left this morning for the store to do the couch video, he was settled in and he didn't want to come out. So I, I left him. The transition is going great because it's nice to finally be together for every day. But a lot of my stuff is packed. I just have, you know, some clothes and some, of course, my toiletries. Anyway, I'm a little bit, a little bit disorganized, but I will get there. And besides that, in a few weeks, we will move into our new house. But I would like to touch a little bit more on the fitting. Tessa and I did a how to measure yourself video. You saw it a few days ago and I just saw this email again from Laura. Laura, you, you went quite into detail and I will read your email. It's not a long one. It says, Dear Miss Lucia, I learned something new from every uh, Lucia and Bean YouTube presentation. Your style tips are genuine, smart and practical. Thank you. Because you are designers first, you know the importance of fit for sure. Very important. I'm cautious about free sizing, which is true. You have to be cautious with that. Free sizing doesn't always mean it fits all sizes. I'm tall and you're talking about, you are not intimidated. I love this part. You are not intimidated by a size tag. You should never be. I use it as a starting point only, so smart. I have garments from extra small to large in my wardrobe, we all do and well different sizes for sure but that range of sizes right and she asked what do you think well i just told you laura what i think it's that's a great way to to look at sizing it's like the, the most important part is does it fit because an ill-fitting outfit is can ruin everything right it could be extremely expensive and it, it if it doesn't fit right it's it's not good so i was thrilled with your questions but you write about arm length. Okay, arm length, I think Tess and I touched on it. Usually it's measured from here to there because your shoulder, you can have sm small shoulders or broader shoulders. So it's a little bit hard to find your sh shoulder length. So it's usually me measured from underneath, underneath your arm to your wrist. And then you write about the uh, arm circle and uh, the elbow but that is usually not a measurement that's taken for sewing purposes or making a garment. Those measurements are usually taken in the medical world, right? For medical purposes, to fit a brace or to even pre-op. 
And then the darts, what to do if the darts are in the wrong place. Usually then it's the bra. You might have to look at your bra. You might need a new bra or a different bra or a better fitting bra. And we've, we've done a video on that too, on garments, on how important uh, undergarments are. Extremely important, right? Especially a bra. And never go out trying on clothes with wearing a sports bra. And like Tessa said on the measuring video, never measure yourself with a sports bra because it's different. It's, it's pushed in your body, so it's flatter. And when you wear a bra, your measurement will be larger. And then shoulder to front hemline, you say it's very important if you're pairing it with leggings. Right on, Laura, so important. So we always do the length and it's always measured from the shoulder, shoulder line over basically over your boob and then down to the hemline and then if it's high low we do the, the lowest in the front measurement from the shoulder to the lowest and then we do the the back from the shoulder line to the back to the longest so whatever's in between you can imagine i felt a little bit bad that we didn't go into detail about this email but now i did i hope you are are okay with that laura and that was a great uh, great questions i'm back into reading again and my mind is a little calmer after the move and all the packing and everything i couldn't concentrate on on reading my book but i've got a fantastic book i really love it it's called the wives of henry oates and it's by joanna moran it's an older book i don't know how old it is but it's definitely an older book and i'll tell you a little bit short form what it's about it's in the early 1900s and it plays in New Zealand, and it is about a British man and his wife and young family, very much in love, great, great family. And he's sent out for his work to New Zealand, and it's very primitive. She is in a cabin, in, basically in, in the woods, and he goes out and comes on weekends home or whenever he can. And yeah, it's like a priffy outside, no water, like really primitive. Anyway, she's making a home there and he's doing his job. She, oh, I'm almost telling the, starting to tell you the story now. I'm not going to, going to. The broad line is that he comes back one day, his family's gone. He goes searching for them for months. He can't find them. He, they're presumed dead. So he is, of course, grief stricken and he still has to stay on. He stays on for a while because he wants to stay on because he still feels for a year already that they're coming back. Anyway, after a few years, it's, he moves to the States. He meets another woman and they have a family. And lo and behold, his second family is, is back and he hears about it. But in the meantime, he's married this other woman and he is pulled into court. He is charged with polygamy. It's a it's fabulously interesting story. The way she writes, it pulls your head in. Anyway, that's the story of the book. So if you want to read it, this is it. What I wanted to talk to you about too, I order my books online from Thrift Books. It's an American company and I've searched high and low for an online used book company in Canada, trust me, because you know we're all about supporting Canada. I haven't found it anywhere. So there is one locally, but they've never ever have I found a book that I've looked for that I, I want. I find their selection. Yes, if you're in gardening and cooking and that type of books, but you know, these books, no. The novels, the bi biographies, no. So I am thrilled with this company. For sure you pay American prices. All the books are like starting from $3 to four, five, six, you know dollars pretty good shape this one looks a little rough sometimes i found they look almost new and then of course you have to pay for the shipping but you don't have to pay duty or you know anything like that because it's it's second hands it's used so usually i buy five or six at the same time i buy for clan too he's a huge reader he's very fast so he reads books like a book in a week i'm not I'm not like that. Anyway, I like to buy new books for sure. We always buy new books for gifting to people and for each other at Christmas or birthdays. But I mean, if you read that many books, it, ca it gets up there. 
So, and I know that the author still gets a percentage after the books are used to this channel, right? So it feels a little bit better. Anyway, if you like to try it, lovelies, it's Thrift Books. And the other nice thing is very quickly they find out your taste, right? I like biographies, I like books like this, I like history, novels. So then every day they send you a little list of about five books that they think are of your interest. And then, you know, I put one in my shopping cart and the shopping cart is full after a few weeks and then I catch and deliver it. So that's my story about the book. If you try it and let me know what you think, always let me know what you think because that's how we can go on with these videos and bring you exciting information. So lovelies, last week I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the scarves and I certainly did. I was blown away. There were so many beautiful new patterns and I'm excited to go into the fall, not yet but soon, and start to wear a scarf. So I'm going to keep you in suspense but tomorrow live unboxing. Finally beautiful fall winter line came in and we're going to show you tomorrow what's in the box. So lovelies, I hope you liked our little chit chat on the couch. I always really like this. I feel like I'm really connecting with you and we have a nice family going and I know from all your emails and your responses that you like it too. Keep your emails coming, send me questions. It doesn't matter what it is about. It doesn't necessarily have to be clothing because we talk about everything. And anyway, as always, enjoy your Sunday and keep on smiling.